Bubbling brooks just visible through the crevices of shattered ice. A quaint notch of a village. A postcard perfect view of New England at its best. Just three hours north of Boston, you'll find Jackson, New Hampshire. You'll know you're here when you see this red covered bridge. It's one of the most photographed in New England, and they call it the Honeymoon Bridge. After a few days here, you may just fall in love. Be it with the mountain views or the commute to work, the cross country trails at the Jackson Ski Touring Foundation voted some of the best in the world. Executive Director Ellen Chandler says it's a simple recipe. It's the people and the beautiful trails. 55 trails of varied terrain make up 150 kilometers of natural beauty. It was founded almost 50 years ago by some forward-thinking businessmen who needed to add some to the winter activities in the area, and it's turned into a major hub of cross-country skiing in the whole Mount Washington Valley. Skis are not the only way to get around here. The trails provide an intersection for winter sports and a detour from everyday transportation. It's a network of trails within the village, so people do come down from communities, from neighborhoods to the businesses in town. It's, and you can also ski in to in or from restaurant to restaurant. Pick up two citrus salads. Speaking of restaurants. We pinch ourselves regularly that we get to be here in this community doing this. A dream come true for husband and wife team Jeff and Kate Fournier. After a successful run as owners of 51 Lincoln in Newton, they went north in search of change. Eventually, we said, let's get out of here. You know, we have two small children and we wanted to really focus on quality of life. They found it on five acres in the heart of Jackson, home to the Thompson House Eatery, where they live and entertain guests. We really want to make sure that people feel like they're in our house. And in this case, it is actually true with thoughtfully sourced ingredients. We really feel passionately about giving people a good time and just trying to really be great at it. From bread baked fresh daily to their own cheeses, homemade ice cream and mouth-watering dishes, a down-home feel, but still plating it up with that city edge. We actually change the menu just about every day. Salads topped with basement-grown mini greens, salmon sourced from Chile, meats from local farms and their famous beignets. A special appearance on nights filled with music, the couple's two young children, a constant presence, a reminder of what brought them here. Mixing in real life into the restaurant business, I'm really proud of finding that balance. We love that oftentimes people come in here happy and they leave really, really happy. I die, sweet as apple cider. Yesterday was a little bit sunnier when I started. It was so bright. The sky is probably one of the quickest changing things in the landscape. It can be very relaxing. When Mother Nature paints a landscape like this, artists can only hope to imitate her. This is a painting done just with a palette knife, so it's a very loose kind of impressionistic painting. Melanie Barash Levitt has been plein air painting in the White Mountains for more than 15 years. The nice thing about the knife is you um, can't get too picky with it. Where the only constant is a changing view. Kind of always chasing the light. About every three hours, it's a completely different scene. Kind of look at the painting from afar to see what you have to do next. Art is always imperfect perfection, something Melanie decided to share with visitors, opening up Jackson Art Studio. But look at all this talent here in Jackson. Yes, we have a lot of local artists and a lot of them teach here as well. Not only is it a place for local artists to display their work, classes offered here range from sip and paint to mosaics, jewelry design, from the beginner to well-skilled. Perhaps Black Mountain should have been named Blue. We're one of the oldest ski areas in all of New Hampshire. We started in 1935 and we're self-facing, which means you ski in the sun all day long. With 45 trails and five lifts, skiers can enjoy a bit of history while hitting the slopes. We were the first overhead cable lift in the United States. They hung 72 shovel handles off the rope. It was the first time in the United States they ever took a rope tow and stuck it overhead. Whew. 
Of course, no tour of a snow-covered New Hampshire would be complete without a roaring fire. Here at Nestle Nook, 25 acres of romantic magic. From the ice-covered twinkling lights to skaters designing their own special memories. This is a place where the horse-drawn sleigh meets the magic of a moonlight winter in the heart of the White Mountains. Beautiful, and the Thompson House is still open for dine-in and takeout. As Nicole mentioned, the eatery is committed to local ingredients. During the warmer months, they source most of their greens and vegetables from their own land. And for the risk takers out there, well, when we are able to travel to New Hampshire again, the Jackson Sea Ski Touring Foundation offers after dark adventures. Next, join us for a virtual food tour in Portland.